Hey guys, how are you? I wanted to make a video about an instrument that's very, very special to me. And a lot of people don't know what this instrument is. They hear me play it and their eyes are closed because usually I'm playing it when they're in meditation. And so they assume it's some sort of flute with a bunch of finger options and, and they never think two things about it. But the interesting thing is that it's a flute that has one hole. It's called an overtone flute. So I'm going to show you. I have a bunch back here. They're different sizes and different woods. This one's made of willow. You'll see, not like a traditional flute that has holes that you would play with your finger. This has no holes. It's completely smooth. What you do have is one end that you blow into. It has almost a, a whistle, which is a like a thipple type, and the other end is open. So you might think like, well, how does this flute actually work? Because when I play it, I get a lot of different notes. So I'll play a little bit, you might hear. Anyways, that was just riffing around. It wasn't very well played at all. Well, if you know anything about the harmonic series, overtones are naturally occurring mathematical ratios. So when you play this flute, just by changing the air pressure, you're changing the note. So as you start to blow harder, the note doubles. You get an octave, then you blow harder, and you get a note above that. The reason this flute is so special is that the overtone series follows the natural sounds that occur in nature. When you have holes on a flute, typically they're tuned in some sort of temperament. Temperament is a way of dividing the octave, and temperament often divides it in a way that isn't quite natural, isn't quite in tune with the mathematical ratios that occur in nature. So there's something very meditative about the sounds that come out of this type of flute because all the sounds are sounds that occur naturally. Now, there are many types of overtone flutes and they come from different cultures. So this particular one is from Hungary. In the area around uh, Eastern Europe, um, Transylvania, Bulgaria even, these are known as shepherd flutes. So in folk music, they're played out by the shepherds, and they're made by shepherds. This one is made in Hungary from a willow tree. The name for this flute in Hungary or in that part of the world is sometimes a konkova or telinko. They come in different woods. This is made from a plum tree. It's a different, um, a different sound too. They can be made from bamboo. Um, I've even seen them made from PVC pipes. So if you don't care about the wood, uh, there's a lot of possibilities out there. Anyways, I am now selling these flutes. I don't have a good supply because they're hard to get. They take me about three to four weeks to get these from Hungary. So they're, they're limited. And they're also not the type of flute that everybody would want. But if you are interested in these, let me know. The only one I have available until my next shipment comes is a G flute right now. Key of G, and it's made from willow. It's a beautiful flute. And it's portable. This is about 15 inches, so it's almost like a pocket flute. You could just take it with you hiking. You could take it to the yoga studio if you're going to play for your students, something like that. I do have another shipment on the way, 
but I found that these are so hard to find that I can't really keep them in stock. So if you are interested, let me know. Otherwise, just wonderful flutes. So I encourage everybody to play flute because flutes are amongst the oldest instruments in the world. They occur naturally, they're beautiful. The tones remind us so much of the human voice, which is why we resonate with them. But thanks for listening. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.